Hello everyone, this video is about this 3D printer, it's Creality K1C. If you don't know, I'm usually doing electronic stuff, but this video is gonna be about this uh, 3D printer, because my projects sometimes uh, requires 3D printing, so I'm gonna quick review this printer. I have to mention that this uh, 3D printer was sent to me by uh, Geek Boeing. I will put a link down below. It's not affiliate link. It just link to this printer if you are interested. I'm gonna take a closer look to this printer, to the app that it uses, and finally, I'm gonna print something with it and see how it goes. So here we have this nice uh, touchscreen display and the front we have the glass door on the sides we have the acrylic panels and this one is the filament uh, runout sensor it's nice to have it and here's the spool holder it's on the back I believe it, uh, it has uh, a file that you can print uh, a spool holder, actually to mount this spool holder on the side and here you mount it on these uh, three screws. So I'm not gonna print it. For me it's not important to have it on the, on the side. I gonna leave it here on the on the back and here we have uh, this uh, this filter with uh, activated uh, carbon and this is the extruder nice clicky sound I was quite surprised to see how small it is and it, for a reason it's so small you can you cannot move, move a, a heavy extruder so fast so yeah I really like it uh, how they designed this uh, extruder and from what I know it uses unicorn uh, nozzle for uh, fast uh, printing, high temperature printing and, and you're gonna be able to, to print uh, abrasive uh, filaments with it without uh, wearing uh, the, the nozzle and this is the top cover so it mounts like that it, it is hold it in place with uh, magnets I'm not really like how uh, this uh, this chain is touching the this top uh, cover even if they include this uh, a rubber band exactly for this reason it still touches the the panel in here on top so I don't really like it but I'm gonna leave it like this I'm not sure if I glued this uh, rubber band exactly where it's supposed to be and but I will leave it like this here we have the build plate with K1C right, on, right here and it's 220 by 220 by 250. On the bottom here we have the uh, settings, recommended settings for, uh, for example, Hyper PLA at 220 degrees for the nozzle 
45 degrees for the bed and the speed 300 millimeters per second and the fans and for a generic PLA 230 uh, degrees Celsius and 45 degrees for the bed and the speed is 200 millimeters so yeah you can print ETG, ABS, TPU, PLA, uh, Carbon PLA, SAA and PC. So here on the app, on the community, you have a lot of uh, orders where you can choose and yeah, you can print directly from, uh, from here. On the workbench we have live camera, the hotbed uh, temperature, nozzle temperature and the chamber temperature and print speed you can print from local files and from the cloud files so yeah all right now i'm gonna print something with this printer actually i'm gonna print a, a case for a soldering station if maybe you saw the, my last video about a soldering station for a jbc tips so I'm actually print that case. I'm gonna use this uh, filament that came with the printer. It's Creality Hyper PLA white. So the speed I'm gonna print uh, that case is uh, 300 millimeters per second. So yeah, let's load the the filament and start the print. All right, the filament is loaded. Let's go to the settings here and retract and re uh, extrude so I'm gonna uh, extrude press this button and wait uh, that the nozzle reach the temperature and the filament will be extruded all right the filament is extruded and we're gonna start the print all right i uh, sliced the the files and reality print i put it on usb drive and i'm gonna insert it to the printer and all right we go to files usb drive and we have here the files and press on it and here is the temperature for the bed the nozzle and the time 64 minutes 1 hour and 4 minutes and this is the the filament that it uh, gonna use and for example this print it takes one hour and four minutes with k1c and with the ender 3 it's about three hours even with all the upgrades i made it still prints slowly so uh, it takes about three hours for this exactly print so I'm happy that I'm gonna be able now to print faster so let's uh, press print it's copying the files and the print it will start all right guys I had to uh, start again the print because that wiper uh, over there was a bit off and when the nozzle was um, uh, trying to to measure the distance i believe i'm not sure if i'm seeing right 
but uh, see uh, the the wiper not being in place the nozzle was a little bit too close to the wheel plate and the fish layer was not uh, uh, good and was too squishy so I had to start the print again all right guys so far so good this is the live printing so the video is not speed up it prints quite uh, fast this is at uh, 300 uh, millimeters uh, per second so I will be back when the print is uh, finished all right guys the printer now prints at 300 millimeters per second because right now it prints quite fast compared to first layers so yeah it's quite fast and so far so good all right guys the print is complete and it took about it took one hour and six minutes and it's okay all right guys this is the print it's is looking amazing keeping in mind that was printed at 300 millimeters per second and this is the top cover of the soldering station and so i also printed this benchy this was printed at i believe at 600 millimeters per second 16 minutes benchy and the quality is looking good for this speed we have here some uh, stringing but everything else is looking very good and here I have this calibration cube also printed at 300 millimeters per second I printed all of this in uh, white hyper PLA the filament that came with this printer I also have others filaments but I I printed with this one because I want to, to print at a higher speed to see the, the quality of this uh, uh, the prints and this smaller cube is printed with Ender 3 this took about 28 minutes and compared to this one this one also uh, was around 16 minutes like this benchy but this one was printed at uh, 300 millimeters per second all right but guys i really like this printer especially for uh, high printing speeds like i said uh, the only thing i don't like is the noise it makes uh, it's quite noisier compared to my uh, ember 3 but i have to deal with this 
and thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel to help me out a little bit i also have a patreon page if you want to support me there and yeah this it's gonna be a, uh, the last video for this year i hope you enjoyed it and happy holidays and uh, happy new year bye